Our next work on the program is the concert aria for soprano and orchestra, I Perfido. This work was composed in 1796, while Beethoven was on concert tour in Prague. And the text is partly the setting of the Italian librettist Pietro Metastasio. Why partly? Because Metastasio has composed the text of the recitative, the initial recitative, I Perfido. The following aria, Per Pietà non dirmi addio, which forms the heart of the work, is a creation of an unknown poet. Uh, we doubt that it was Beethoven himself. The original text by Metastasio was written for his opera libretto Achille in Shiro. The subject of the heroic opera is telling a story of the Greek hero Achilles, to whom it has been prophesied in his youth that he will eventually fall in the Trojan War. So in order to prevent it, his mother, nymph Thetis, disguises Achilles as a woman and sends him onto the island of Skyros, where he grows up at the court of the king of Skyros. Eventually, the daughter of the king, Princess Deidamia, falls in love with Achilles. Princess Deidamia accuses Achilles of the mean perjury, calls him a barbaric traitor. But eventually, because she's still in love with him, her rage gives way to a mournful, heartfelt lament of the aria Per Pietà non dirmi addio. And from that moment on, the text is not anymore by Metastasio, but an, by an unknown author. The aria is written in a very clearly Mozartian style, which is explained by the fact that Beethoven was a great admirer of Mozart, and also because he wrote this work in Prague, where Mozart was still considered some kind of a god. And that was only five years after Mozart's untimely death. In the aria which follows the recitative, Beethoven shows himself a worthy successor of Mozart, capable of composing a beautiful Italian bel canto style line. In the second part of the aria, we hear another beautiful theme. Dite voi se in tanto affanno non son degna di pietà. This theme is almost obsessively repeated about eight times until at the very end of the aria, Beethoven resolves it. So the aria shows a sense of hope at the end. The tradition has it that the aria I perfido is sung by dramatic sopranos, often by the sopranos who also perform Leonore from Beethoven's Fidelio. In our case, it should have been the fantastic Lisa Davidson, who has just done um, a series of performances of Fidelio at the Royal Opera House. And she would have been also our solo soprano in the cantata for the death of Emperor Joseph II. In the recording which we're going to present to you, this aria is going to be sung by Charlotte Margiono, 
who in her time was also uh, an outstanding Leonora. I remember her Leonora at Glyndebourne in 2001, conducted by Sir Simon Rattle. In this recording, she's going to be conducted by Sir John Elliot Gardiner. 